Hey everyone, I'm back. And like I said, I did get bored. I said that in the first episode. But I'm back. I didn't expect to be, so that's all good. I'm back and I'm really excited because the 1.15, the first 1.15 snapshot has been released. And it's a good one. I'm gonna try and find something that came with it. Just press this first. Have my break. And then we'll go out. So things are different in this house. All the chests are empty because I did actually start recording before and the last uh, the thing I was going to do was make a town hall thing. I mentioned that in the last episode. Which I started doing and then I got bored. I lost the footage as well, so. I don't know, I guess I could show you around instead of showing the building. We'll go there now. So much like. Here we go. So we'll, what we've got here is a town hall. Town hall that has a few things in it. There's a villager guy and some chests. Initially, I was going to store everything in the chests here. But then I built this place, which is like a giant warehouse. Well, it's like a warehouse bunker type thing. Um. <clears throat> and yeah, that looks pretty cool. I can go through all the stuff in more de detail later. I've made myself a little sh a wall farm down here. It's, re it's really simple. Just go around the back and show you. Dispensers with shears in. And observers down the bottom which observe the state of the grass underneath. So when the grass changes to dirt, it notices, and when it changes, it will snip the sheep. Uh, I've started on this over here. You can't really see that yet, but uh, I'll explain that in a bit. I don't know who that was. I've also got a little. A uh, concession stand here. This is supposed to be like a beachfront type thing. Um, I've started. Like I said, I started filming and I built it, but I got bored, so that's finished. But right now, I need to go find the new thing, which is bees. I'm gonna go find some bees, and I'm thinking. Uh, I've gone that way quite a lot because of the. That's where the. Uh, what do you call it? The end portal is. So I'm going to go this way. Which is. Uh, south. I'm going to go south because I don't think I've explored very far this way. So. Once I once it loads up, once I get to the swamp here, this is the swamp. The swamp where I built my slime farm, not farm, slime collecting hut. 
which is around here somewhere. It should be new chunks from this moment. And I see a temple already. That's great. So let's fly, see what we can see. Um, I didn't get bored of Minecraft. Just to let you know, I have been playing, <coughs> but not so much on this world. I've been playing some really cool maps. Uh, there was a Skyblock map that I started playing, and there was a custom world where the blocks fall from the sky, which was really cool. In a small chunk area. Ooh, what was that? Oh, it's a lava pit. And yeah, that got me thinking about other maps and challenges that I want to play. And I was thinking maybe I could do a. Oh, oh I see them. I was thinking I could do a nomadic style playthrough, which would be pretty cool. Oh, it's a flower forest. So I've read a little bit about these, but I don't know a huge amount. They're not. Yeah, they're not uh, hostile. This one's all tucked away. I don't really want to get that one. Let's see if we can find another one. So they spawn on the around the trunks of trees. Ooh, ah, there we go. This one looks better. Oh, oh no, I did pick them up. That's great. So what I'm hoping for now is... <coughs> That's a cool sound. I'm hoping to get some... What is it? Honeycomb? To... Build my own beehive. <coughs> and at the moment there is a glitch where you can get infinite honey from a filled up beehive because these I don't know if well these are filled with honey so you can get it out with a glass bottle I'm not sure if these are indicators on the side here if the texture changes at all but we'll figure that out <coughs> so yeah I'm gonna try I'm going to try grab one first. You're supposed to be able to pick them up with a silk touch, so ah, I like that one. I'm going to leave it. Uh, I'll wait till night time to see if you can pick up the nest with them all inside. Because I can't be bothered to bring them all back with me. <laughs> with flowers I think it is you have to lead them with. But first I'm gonna try and get some honeycomb. What was that noise? I'm not sure. Okay, let me just find one and I'll be back. Here we go, so I ended up coming back to this one because I didn't want to spend too much time out here. But if I use these, I sh oh, ow, ow, I should be able to get some honeycomb. I didn't know, oh man, <laughs> I didn't know they went hostile if you took the honeycomb. I've got enough anyway, that's fine. Oh, and they stung me, which means they're going to die. That's that's not cool. I don't like that. I mean, it makes sense, but <laughs> I'm gonna try and uh, try and avoid them stinging me as much as I can. 
Um, there's a creeper down there. I see it. I'm just going to have to... No. No time. Let's get rid of these, and then I will... I'm going to try, try to silk touch that hive and bring it back with me. Okay. So they, they get angry when you do that as well. Hmm. Anyway, as I was saying before, I'm going to try a new a new playthrough. It's going to be uh sorry, I have to pause it to let it load sometimes. See if I pause it, you can see in the background it's loading. <coughs> also, it's hard to fly and talk at the same time. So yeah, the new playthrough I'm going to try is going to be a nomadic style playthrough where I'm going to have some goals and it's going to have a story behind it as well. I found a really cool map. I won't ruin the surprise yet, but it's going to have a story attached to it. So that should be cool. I'm going to try and get or make a bunch of data packs. Is this a room? Yes. Here we go. I'm going to try and get or make a bunch of data packs for that game that I will be doing. Stuff like thirst, so you need to drink and I'm sure I had a uh, never mind. Yeah so thirst a bunch of uh role playing type elements. Just, I, I haven't fully thought of it yet, but I'll be th thinking of some cool stuff to do with that. I was playing with some Lucky Blocks uh, data packs before, so I'm going to see if I can, I don't know, get some loot table thing to add extra chests and stuff. <coughs> it should be cool. So yeah, the story with this, because of this town hall being right on the edge, I thought I'd make it a beach town type thing, hence the beachfront road going around here. I, d I don't really like the look of it at the moment. It's looking a bit, mm, I don't know, messy? It's looking a bit messy and empty at the same time, which is weird, so I'm going <laughs> to have to think of some more stuff to put along the side there. But this is going to be the pier. Which hasn't been decorated yet, but I have built it out quite a considerable distance. So I'm going to have to think of stuff to do with that. But I think it will look cool when it's finished. But now I'm going to try to get that the glitch I was talking about with infinite honey. I'm going to try and get that working. See if I caught any bees inside here. Or if not, make myself a beehive and bring some over. And then... start stocking up because as I've said before the overall goal for this playthrough is to uh, get a double chest of everything all into a museum and I don't mind using glitches and stuff so
this is going to be a really easy way to uh, do that. Um, can you use fire charges as this fuel? No. Let's see. What was it? Can you use blaze rods? Oh no, never mind, I found a bunch of charcoal. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna smelt this up, get some glass, and make some bottles. So, I'm gonna do that and we'll come back. So here we go. We have a honey stealer all set up. I did have a few bees in there already uh, but something happened when I was making this thing um, and I got stung so I'm not sure if they're dead or if they escaped or what so I'll just turn this on and here we go free honey Lots of honey. This could totally be made better. Taking forever to load. Oh, finally! This would be quicker. Please leave me alone. Okay, so I'm here. Well, that took forever. Okay, it's like half three in the morning. So. I'm going to explain this quickly and then I'm going to go to bed. I can start it some other time. Oh, well, don't die. Please, please don't die. This is so far away. I found this place and it's in like tw 23,000 in one direction or something. Not even that great. Ow! Stop! Stop! So yeah, the project will be a woodland mansion renovation. But since I'm not going to start it now, I'll explain it more 
next time. We're going to renovate this woodland mansion for a special thing. Are them villagers coming for me? I'm just going to hear them better. So yeah, this is what's the first one I could find. It's 23,000 blocks away in one direction. So even traveling through the nether, it takes me 10 minutes, maybe longer, to get from one side to the other. Oh, hello. Boop. Boop. Do you have friends? Alright, your friends. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to clean this up, clear this out. Uh, and then get started. I can't pick that up, can I? <laughs> yeah, this is how far I went. Like, I was throwing out netherrack as well, so I've got a lot. Ah, cheap. Oh. And now I have to walk all the way back again. That's wonderful. Ah. Mm. Okay. That should be fine. I'll go back get my stuff. This is pretty good actually because I can grab some stuff to get started. I'm going to need... Some blocks to clean it up. Uh, and oh my goodness, why are there so many? Oh, whatever. I'll die or not. So yeah, I'm gonna go get some blocks to clean it up, get started, and then I'll reveal more, reveal more next time. Bye.